And then we come to Lithuania. This is Ostea Solsaita. She's 17. And this is another one that's her first time at the final. At home, she has eight dogs, four Bernese Mountain Dogs, two Legottos. I'm sure she was very excited to see the Legotto win the group last night. One Japanese Shiba Inu and a West Highland White Terrier. So quite a mix at home, where she's decided to handle a pointer here in the international final. This is Lithuania, Ostea Solsaita. Her favorite school subject is theater, because she says in her own words, it lets her express herself, allows her to relax and be in a cozy environment. Well done, Ostea Solsaita from Lithuania. So now this is Tumulta on the table handling a beagle. This is Mariah Mani Carol. Mariah is 17. And another one. It's her first time here at Crafts competing in this final. So welcome. She has around 20 dogs at home, ranging from beagles, Basenjis, Cavalier, King Charles, and Border Collies. She started handling at the age of 10, and she was inspired by her sister, Riona. She's here watching her, supporting her. Her sister represented Malta in 2019, so it's a family affair. Well done, Mariah from Malta. She's currently studying to become a lawyer. She likes to cycle and listen to music, as well as farming. Well done, and lovely to see you, Mariah from Malta. <laughs> to the Netherlands. And this is Maika Steinbrecken. Maika is 18, and this is her first time at Crafts 2. She has five Samoids at home. Here, deciding to show an Irish setter at the International Junior Handling Final. She started showing about seven years ago. She just loves to work with dogs. And it's in the family. This is Maika from the Netherlands. So she really enjoys the daily care of animals because she has many types at home. She also has a private grooming salon and a very good dog kennel, she says. She loves training and walking her dogs. Basically, anything with dogs, Micah feels at home. Congratulations and welcome Micah from the Netherlands. So here we have New Zealand. This is Charlie Hutas. She's 18. And this is her first time in the final at Crafts. All the way back home, she has eight Cavaliers and one German Shepherd. Her choice was an Australian Shepherd. She started handling around age 13 when her, it says here, her, when her grandmother's hip gave out. <laughs> Well done, Charlie Hutos, New Zealand.
She's another handler that has a lot of pets at home. They have three cats. And she actually works full time at a paint shop. And then obviously enjoys her dog showings at the weekend. Thank you for joining us. Charlie Hutas from New Zealand. And now to Malin Landmark from Norway. She's 18. She did participate in the European Dog Show in France, but she's never competed at Crufts, so welcome. At home, she has six Dachshunds, Norwegian Hellcounds, and a Skipperkey. She chose to handle a pointer today, and we're very grateful for all of the dog lenders, but this particularly don le dog lender, Sue Welsh and Connie Hazeltine, we are very thankful they brought seven pointers. Well done, Malin Landmark from Norway. We are incredibly grateful to all of our dog lenders for battling the snow and coming here today. So please, can you put your hands together for these amazing owners have made such fantastic effort to bring their wonderful, beautifully tempered, beautifully conditioned dogs here. Thank you. Well done, Malin Landmark from Norway. And to Poland. This is Amelia Broy. She's 18 and chose to handle a standard poodle. This is her first time in the final. So she did qualify for the International Junior Handler of the Year a couple of years ago, but unfortunately, we didn't hold an international junior final, so she's actually represented Poland before, but she just never got to Crufts due to the COVID pandemic. So we're so pleased to see her here today. It's almost like a second chance to represent her country. At home, she has five dogs. Well done, Amelia from Poland. So at home, she does have two poodles and three mixed breed dogs. She accidentally met her trainer when she was 12 years old, Patricia, who introduced her to this whole dog showing community and taught her how to do it. That's what it's all about. Well done, Amelia from Poland. And to Portugal. This is Maria Ribeiro. Maria is one of the youngest finalists here. She's 13. This is her first time in Crufts, and she's handling a golden retriever, which has got a great pet name called Waffle. There is a song there, but I'm not going to sing it. So at home, she has chihuahuas, she has a golden retriever, and she has some basset hounds as well. She's been shown for about three years. And she also has a turtle and some cats on the farm where she lives. That's Maria from Portugal. She likes to practice frisbee with her dogs as well. And she also loves to do some TikToks with her dogs and friends. 
Perhaps she can put the hashtag Crufts2023 when she next does her next one. Now you might recognize Maria because her brother won the international final in 2018 with his English Springer. Antonio, when he, his reaction was wonderful. So welcome to Maria, the sister from Portugal. We welcome for the first time to the International Junior Handling Final, a representative from Romania. This is Alexandra Ambrush. She's 13. Welcome to Crafts, Romania. So, Alexandra has been handling dogs for around two years. Her father is a professional handler. But she's been involved in the dog show world for many years. She says as early as five years old. You'll notice if you're not used to junior handling competitions that all these handlers are extremely well dressed, complementing their dog with their outfit. On the up and down now, that's Alexandra Ambrush from Romania. In junior handling, it's all about the whole package, the rapport, the skill, the natural handling ability and presentation. I think all the handlers have done such an amazing job so far. It's been a very busy 24 hours for them. Well done, Romania. Alexandra Ambrush. Now we come to Slovakia. This is Michelle Zemirova. Michelle is 18, and this is her first time in the final as well. At home, she has three dogs, an American Cocker Spaniel, English Setter, and Tibetan Terrier. Here showing an English Springer Spaniel. So at home, she does have an English Springer, and sorry, she has an English Setter, and she's training that English setter for the hunting exams. This uh, is Michelle from Slovakia. It has been a very busy few days for these junior handlers. Yesterday, they were able to walk around the show. They had various meetings, and last night they had a lovely dinner and met each other at the gala dinner. They will sleep well. <laughs> this is Michelle from Slovakia. Of course, this is part one of this competition. Part two returns this evening when we'll meet all of the finalists again. And our judge will narrow down this field to around eight to 10 handlers. But now we're looking at Slovenia. Slovenia is represented by Matias Koroshets. He's 18. And this is his third time in the final. Welcome back. He was last here when he was about 11 and 12 years old, so back in 2015, 2016. So well done, Matias, to make it back here again. Slovenia, Matias handling a pointer.
at home, he has 11 dogs. All Spitz dogs in different sizes. We've got miniature Pomeranians, Kleinspitz, and Wolfspitz, which he says are his favorites. Both his parents are judges, and so he was kind of born into dog showing. So welcome and well done, Matthias Koroshetz. We welcome from South Africa, Anita Schumann. Anita is 16. This is her first time at Crufts handling a Boston Terrier. Back in her homeland, she owns three boxes, a French Bulldog, a Rottweiler, and a Jack Russell. She apparently started dog showing at two years old because she was in a fancy dress competition with her first Rottweiler. <laughs> and she started showing at four years old as a child handler. So coming from South Africa, handling the Boston, it's Anita Schumann. She's another one that likes to cook and she'd like to become a chef one day and start her own business, but specifically to help special needs children at work. Congratulations, Anita from South Africa. To Spain, welcome to Enigo Espila Gaia. Inigo is 17 years old, chose to handle a Jack Russell. This Jack Russell arrived very, very late, and it's still showing like a pro. Inigo has nine dogs at home, making up of Dachshunds, Jack Russells, Whippets, Pekingese, Lakeland Terriers, Japanese Shiba Inu. That's an ego from Spain. <laughs> Seems that an ego has brought half of Spain with him in the crowd. <laughs> Lovely to hear your support, ladies and gentlemen. Spain, represented by Anigo Aspila Gaia. Now we come to Sweden. No pressure, but the winner last year did come from Sweden. This time it's Ia Kanaheim. She's 19. This is her first time in this final, and she's chosen to handle a pointer. I think she was one of the earliest junior handlers here this morning. She was here bef before me, which was impressive. So she started handling in 2015 because the breeder of her first staffy asked her if she wanted to show herself, and she said, why not? She thought it was fun, so she started to show more and more, and then began the junior handling. Lovely to see you here, Ia from Sweden. She wanted to be a vet or a car mechanic. It's always useful. Or something around finances. She loves to work as a ring steward at weekends when she's not showing dogs. Thank you very much to Sweden, Ia Kanaheim.
And now this to Switzerland. This is Dina Villund. Dina is 18, handling a German short head pointer. I'm particularly happy with the dog lender of, of the owner of this dog, because it was the first one here this morning. Put a big smile on my face. Dina has been here at Crufts before. The last time she competed in the international final was in 2020. Welcome, Switzerland, Dina, with the German short head pointer. Interestingly, Dina only started showing in 2019 because she actually had a fear of dogs. So to make it to the cross final for a second time, handling a strange dog, well done. Dina from Switzerland. Now we come to the United Kingdom. Lauren Bridges represents the UK and she's 16. She's chosen to handle a Siberian Husky in this final and this is her first time competing in the Joe Cartledge Memorial International Final. She has 25 dogs at home. A mixture of Australian Shepherds, Bernese Mountain Dogs, Welsh Springers, and a miniature Dachshund. She's been handling for around 10 years because her whole family's involved, especially mum. Representing the United Kingdom, Lauren Bridges. She's hoping to be a horse riding instructor. But to be fair, she says she'll try anything to do with dogs or horses. It's her passions and running. So I can see why she makes a great junior handler. <laughs> well done to Lauren Bridges from the United Kingdom. Can't believe it, we're now at the final competitor for this 2023 final. All the way from the USA, this is Noah Milam. He's 18 and really interesting. We've had, never had a Harrier in our final before, so thank you so much to the dog lender to provide this dog. This the Harrier. At home, Noah, apparently they live in Florida and they left a few days ago and it was about 87 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> so I think they got a bit of a shock when they came to Birmingham. Noah started when he was around 10 years old. That's Noah from the USA. It says on the screen he's 19, but he's actually 18. He has a cat and chickens at home. He would like to be a professional handler after he graduates from the junior scholarship program. He's just working and settling the dog. He loves to build go-karts in his spare time. And he does rally F cat dock diving, which he did explain to me yesterday and it sounds like a lot of fun. So many congratulations, Noah from the USA. So our judge has now seen all of our Handlers individually with handling this breed of dog. We still have 13 minutes. 
on the clock, so I'm wondering whether he might do a little more wall work, or certainly going to take another closer look. He's going to make a short list, a secret short list. So we won't know until later tonight who those shortlisted handlers will be. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the volunteers behind the scenes that have appeared this morning and to help steward, to help with the dogs, to Britt Marie Young and Liz Cartledge. We could not do this without you guys. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for all the people behind the scenes that make this competition a great one. So last year, the winner was from Sweden, and that was Selma. And the runner-up was Fabrizio from Germany. And Melissa from the Netherlands was third. But we have almost a completely fresh new lineup. There is very few handlers that have been here before. And hopefully, if you've been listening to me, <laughs> you'll know which ones are here for the first time. Jeff is an extremely talented handler himself. And I know, actually, he was just as nervous to judge this final as I'm sure those competitors feel in the ring at the moment. And remember, all of these animals in the ring are effectively stood in that ring looking amazing because to, of the talent that we have around the world in junior dog handling. It's often said that the youngsters can show the adults a thing or two. I would like to take this opportunity while Jeff is looking at his final selection on my far left about the Kennel Club Charitable Trust. The Kennel Club Charitable Trust is a registered charity working to improve dogs' lives by funding projects in science and research, support and training, health and welfare. Making a difference for dogs is the Trust's motto. Regardless of breed or background, the Trust aims to improve the health and welfare of dogs. Last year at Crufts, the Kennel Club Charitable Trust, with support from the Kennel Club, launched its Appeal for Ukraine. Since then, almost 260,000 has been raised and distributed through the FCI, the Fédération Synologique Internationale, to help dogs and their owners affected by the war. One year on since the invasion, the Kennel Club Charitable Trust is now pushing to reach £300,000 so that they can continue to help our canine friends in the Ukraine. Thank you all who have donated to the Kennel Club Charitable Trust. If you still wish to donate, please visit their website. So now you can see Jeff just doing his secret shortlist. Our lovely steward, Faye, is a former junior handler herself. In fact, you might have seen her in this main ring yesterday winning the Breeders' Final with a team of Pomeranians. 
It's nice that so many ex-junior handlers are getting involved in competitions like this around the world. If you don't already help out or volunteer in your own country, please, they're always looking for volunteers and we need you all. Just for reference, for the dog lenders, the dogs are not needed after they exit the ring until 6.20 p.m. tonight when they will come back into this ring for the final cut. But if we can ask all the dogs to return and be back on their benches or stay on their benches all day, but we need the handlers and dogs to be ready by five o'clock. Okay, he's just putting his hands together. I think he's made his selection. Put your hands together, a big round of applause for all these amazing juniors. Let's see them exit the ring. Australia, Emily Perkins. Austria, Andreas Palme. Bulgaria, Samuel Bonin. Czech Republic, Jakub Novak. Denmark, Sarah DeAngelis. Estonia, Karen Dunaway. Finland, Josefina Voltilinen. France, Elsie Derbert. Germany, Zilas Rush. Greece, Fanny Tozan. Hungary, Lottie Kozosh. Iceland, Ren Valger Strottish. Ireland, Aoife Gary. Israel, Adele Letushi. Italy, Aurora Satori. Japan, Sarah Hasigawa. Latvia, Agnia Morozova, Lithuania, Ostea Solsaita, Malta, Maria Manicaro, Netherlands, Micah Steinberken, New Zealand, Charlie Hutus, Norway, Malin Landmark, Poland, Amelia Baroy, Portugal, Maria Ribeiro, Romania, Alexandra Ambrus, Slovakia, Michelle Zemiarova, Slovenia, Matias Koroshets, South Africa, Anita Schumann, Spain, Inigo Spia Lagaya, Sweden, Ia Kanaheim, Switzerland, Dina Wieland, United Kingdom, Lauren Bridges, and the USA, Noah Myler. Thank you so much for listening and watching and supporting the International Junior Handling Competition here at Cruff.